Hello, my friends. I hope you're doing well. I hope you're doing good. I hope you're ready for a quick little patron, Patreon server tour from your old buddy, Dadcraft73. So, if you're just catching up, or you haven't, or maybe you've been living under a rock or something like that, who knows? In the month of June, in our One Man, One Mod series, uh, Season 4, we played through Thomcraft 6, and we tried to learn everything that we possibly could about that mod and man we learned a bunch of crazy stuff that is for sure and for certain and if you don't know um, if you're at the five dollar tier or higher uh, as a patron of mine man, you get whitelisted for to that same mod pack on a server and so what I decided I would do at the end of the season before we start firing up for season five which as you guys already know if you've watched episode one um, is uh, thermal expansion oh it's gonna be amazing but before we uh take the server down and get a world uh download copy and all that kind of stuff i thought i would just do a little bit of chore uh, tour so the first place that we've got is uh cholas games this is his base so we're gonna check it out here and see what we've got going on man he's got some cool stuff around here man what is this crazy place what is that i don't know so there's his arcane workbench. There's his crucible. That's pretty cool. All right, how do we get down? Is there like a lower level? Maybe here? Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Down here is some arcane stone. And another, here's his research table. He's got a brain in a jar. Ooh, that looks pretty awesome. I guess that holds experience. He's got labels on all of his essentia, his warded jars. Man, that looks great. He's got a couple thaumatoriums down here. He's got his golem press. There's his armor. Yeah, looking pretty sweet. He's got some drawers over here with all kinds of pieces, parts in them. Oh, man, I love it. Here's all his Thomcraft uh, toys and things. Oh, there's his Caster's Gauntlet. There's his Axe of the Stream. There's Amulet of V. There's the uh, Sword of the Zephyr. Oh, man. there. This right here is the Everfull Urn. What is this? Arcane Spa. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Yeah, does he have any, um, I don't see too much, oh, let me see this real quick there. Mm, he's got a little bit of, a little bit of stuff going on around here, that's for sure. Hey, I want to get myself, I've been creative mode, by the way, because I'm just toured around here. I want to get a th thermometer real quick, so I can, oh. So he's got 45 flux over here, not too bad, not too bad at all. That's a barrier stone. I guess that's so mobs can't come in. Oh, man, there's some things that we didn't get into that some of these guys have taken care of. There's an arcane lamp. Yeah, this is farms. Looking pretty good over here, man. That's for sure. <laughs> I love that arcane spa. That's awesome. Got candles around here lighting up the area. Got lots of uh, lights around. Oh, man, what is this over here? I bet this is something. I'm, I'm betting this might be his altar, maybe? Oh, this is a sentia smelter. Yeah, that's awesome. Look at all those Olympics he's got on there. Man, that's looking pretty good. Ooh, pieces parts in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's pretty awesome. So he can just dump things in there? That's a good idea. That's for sure. I love that. Oh, man, excellent job, Cholus. Man, he's taking care of business around here. That's for sure. Okay, so we have another, uh, another place to go uh, that's also Cholus. Uh, I guess it's his. I'm just doing 128 just so I'm up in the air. And then one. No negative one one two nine this is the next place which is the community oh this is the community altar i guess oh look at that thing that's awesome look at all those candles under there man that's pretty good uh, you know we need we need um revealing goggles yeah uh here yeah let's put these on instead of this hat there we go so we can see yeah very stable very good Looks awesome. Arcane lamps around here. Looking pretty good. By the way, I made myself a set of Boots of the Traveler because that's pretty much how I do around here. That's awesome. That's awesome. It's so good. It looks amazing. Good job. Okay, next. Five Oaks. Five Oaks Green. So let's go to him. Uh, 294, 128, uh, negative 708. Oh, no, no, no. Um, it's negative 294. 
There we go. Oh, okay. So this is a five oaks. I know he had built like a wizard tower. I'd seen a couple screenshots on the Discord channel. That looks pretty good. He's got a zombie over here carrying blocks around. Yeah, it's like a cool little wizard tower going on. That's for sure. Foggy Towers. There's a zombie brain laying there. Okay. Let's go up. Okay. This just looks like a crafting bench up there. And the very top is just more of his tower. So this is, looks like it's maybe more for to-do list. Be cool, don't be a fool. That's right, man. He knows what's up. So it sounds like maybe up here it was just sort of decorative. So down here is his crucible, of course. Here's storage. Yeah, some furnaces. Arcane workbench. Research table. Looking good. There's his Essentia smelter and his Thaumatorium. I love that. Yeah, he's got stuff sitting right there. Looking That's a hungry chest. Warded jars all around. Man, that's good. That's awesome, Five Oaks. Nicely done. You know, I didn't really get any, um, like, information from anybody, so these are just uh, coordinates that I have of people's bases. So, uh, if I miss something, I apologize. Uh, maybe next month we can do some of this together. Let me do time, set, day, just so it's uh, daylight out. Okay, next up is Jay Geek. So, time, no, TP. Uh, he's at negative 535, uh, 128, negative 641. Okay. Now I heard, <laughs> I heard through the grapevine that he's got a rift problem over here. Oh, that is for sure, for certain. Right there's a big old rift. That's going to cause some trouble. Is there just one? I thought maybe there were two. <laughs> Rifts, man. They'll get you every time. All right, so over here is a thing. What is this? A sugarcane farm? Yeah, man. Taking care of that sugarcane for sure. What is this right here? Oh, just a storage drawer where he's been collecting it. That's awesome. A little bit of vanilla action going on right there. Oh, yeah, there's another rift. And there's some taint. Yeah, that's not good. All right, let's go inside and see what we've got. He's got... I'm guessing that is from a previous infestation. Oh, man, that's scary. Okay, let's go up first and see what we have up here. Cool little decorated room. Looks good. I love it. Lots of quartz. He's been in the nether taking care of business. That's for sure. Yeah. <laughs> That's a potion uh, brewing system or setup. That's kind of cool. A little bit of water so he can refill his water bottles. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's got a little. Oh, his research table's up here in this little reach, research alcove, uh, alcove, along with his enchanting table. That's good. That's really awesome. I love it. I love it. All right, let's go back down. Does he have a basement? Does he have an altar underneath here? I'm betting he's got some crazy stuff going on at least with okay oh hello so here's his um crystal storage that's awesome this is his focal manipulator so he can make foci's ever full urn you know we never talked about the ever full urn um in the series but essentially it's an urn that's once you it it's always got water in it so you don't have to have a water it's like an infinite water source nice tower greetings from the east from five oaks nice Here's an infinite water source sitting over here. Let's go down a little bit more. It looks like nether portal. And, ooh, there's some... That's a golem press, it appears, right there. Yeah, he's pulling in Machina. Got some cool stuff in here. Here's his just normal storage. That looks good. And then what's down here? Anything else? Oh, here's this crazy thing. Oh, he's got all his jars down here. I bet that thing works like a dream. It just says stable, though. He needs some more uh, candles, I think. I don't know. I, I found that when I put candles underneath this thing, it got a lot more stable. I don't know if that's uh, that was just my what I found out. Another uh, arcane workbench down here. And I would assume that this just goes down to his mine. We don't need to go down there. Snoop around. Golem press. That's pretty cool. Yeah, that looks awesome. I kind of like it with all those jars around. Yeah, it's good stuff. For sure. Okay. What's in here? Any goodies? Ooh. <laughs> couple, couple uh, death counters right there. Woo, daddy. All right, let's get out of here. Okay, and then I'm going to see. That's an awesome tower. I don't know what this was. If he was trying to add on to it or something. There's one of those guys. That's not good. If he was going to add on like a, like another area. I, mean, I got taint poison just by coming over here by that thing. Oh, Jake Geek, you got wisps flying around. You got all kinds of stuff. 
Oh, man. Awesome. Awesome. I love it. Awesome, awesome job. Okay. So next, we're going to go visit the Taint Island, which is at 356... Uh, 128, negative 21. Okay, and this was the Taint Island, which there's not a whole lot of taint going on around here at the moment. It probably got all cleaned up. So this was the island that these guys, when they first needed some taint, sort of like what I did in my playthrough, they came over here and got themselves, uh, just destroyed this island, essentially, is what they did. Look, there's a rift there. There's one there. There's one there. There's one out in the water. There's one. Oh, my Lord. What a mess this place must have been. Looks like they've done some clearing out, though. So it's pretty cool. Got tainted wood, tainted leaves, soil, sand, you name it. That's awesome. I love that. Okay. Next up, a Goofy Zombie. So negative 816, 128. Negative 10058, I guess. Let's see if this takes us somewhere. All right, there's a cool looking house. Man, that's a good looking house for sure. So let's see what we've got on outside. We've got nice crop farms, sugarcane farm, cactus farm. We got cows over there. We've got a uh, silverwood tree. This was maybe where he first started. Maybe he had his cauldron there, maybe, probably. And then he's got this cool looking house. Man, that looks pretty good. He's got red glass in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Got a little porch. All right, let's go inside and see Zombie House. Okay. He's got some chests here. Got random, like, blocks and stuff like that going on here. And then I guess, oh, this is like his main storage room. Oh, he's got the furnace, the infernal furnace going on. That looks awesome. And he's got storage all over the place. That's good. Downstairs to altar. Okay. All right. So down here, he's got an enchanting setup with his arcane workbench and his research table and his, uh, what is this? The focal manipulator with chargers on them. That's pretty cool. Got a cauldron going on over there. And then down here, he's got his uh, his altar setup, infusion altar. And there's his, uh, his deal, his Essentia smelter with his Alembics on it. Looks pretty good. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I love it. See, this is what it's all about, if you don't know. I mean, at least for me it is. I I don't care. Oh. Dang it. <laughs> when you put signs on a door like that, man, you know people are going to roll in there. There's nothing to see here. Really, it's a waste of time. Don't do it. And then there's truly nothing in there. Nice. See, this is the kind of stuff that I love, right? So you got people, maybe some of them played Thumbcraft before, other ones haven't, and they've got the basics down from uh, watching this series, to, you know, taking care of business. I love that. I love it. Nice job, Goofy Zombie. That's amazing. Okay, who is next? Alex. So we're going to do TP to negative 6, whoops, 624, 128, uh, 16. Whoops. Space 16. Okay. This is Alex's base area here. All right. So he's got, obviously, some farms. He's got these paving stones, man. You allow you to run really fast. Those are super cool. I love that. He's got a little bit of minecart action going on here, harvesting up these things. That's a nice... Oh, that's a uh, observer block sugarcane farm that's pretty sweet looking that's for sure got his farms all nicely laid out looking looking sweet yeah 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 that's awesome now i know there's a way to get down here maybe here maybe i don't know what does this sign say beware seals abode yeah i call him alex okay oh nice he's got grass all down in here it's pretty sweet He's got a oh, ridiculously nice storage system going on over here with all his pieces, parts in it. Got a little bit of sugar cane, very decorative. Got some, you know, minerals and stuff like that in the walls, which is looking pretty good. Let's see what's down in here. More storage of blocks and minerals. Maybe that's the mine. Okay. That looks amazing. I love it. Great wood slabs here. I feel like, I don't know, maybe, I don't know. Oh, this way maybe? There's a brewing station, which is awesome. More mob drops in storage. 
all his ores and everything are all compressed and taken care of. That's amazing. I love that. It's very, like, organic. He's got a tree under the ground down here. There's his bed. Oh, a lot. There's a little farm back here. Nice. I like... This is awesome. I like how this is, like, a very, like, organic feeling kind of base. You know? There's just stuff where it needs to be. Or where it could fit. You know, it's not like he dug out the whole thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then there's all that stuff. Okay. Alright, I love this. This looks amazing. Leave it to Alex to use, like, the... Oh, and this is a barrier stone. We never used the barrier stone either, but essentially it prevents mobs from crossing it, which is pretty cool. What is over here? What is this craziness? Oh, it's another portal. Okay. And there's one of those crazy guys. I don't know if this is somebody's. Now this might be. There's a rift right there. Yeah, that's bad. Bad news bears. <laughs> Poor stone. Man, the rift like took over. Oh my goodness. That's insanity right there. Look at all that porous stone. That's all from the rift. That's cool. All right, and here's uh, the thing. Stable, altar. Looking pretty good. Got a little bit of snow going on over here. Oh, there's a golem over there taking care of business. Maybe he was needing it for something. Cauldron. Uh, workbench uh, workbench, and focal, focal manipulator. Research table right there. Yeah, the local aura is bad. I got flux. Flux phage 3. Let me see what's the flux level at his place. Well, that's not too bad. Hmm. Still, looks awesome. I guess this is his base. I mean, this is like Pathworks, or Path. So I'm betting that it maybe goes. And this is like some underground tunnel. That goes all the way down to here. Oh man, I love that. It looks good. I like these, like those little pillars. Okay, and then this is something. I don't know what this is. Is this the beginning of like, uh, like some kind of massive build, or is it? I mean, it could be like a mob farm. I have a feeling that's what it might be. Like mobs are getting pulled up through there. All right, I don't know whose base this is. Oh, this might be the mob farm. Yeah, I think this is like the community. Mob farm nine twenty sixty two yeah 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 so this is the the mob farm the mob the mound mob farm yeah so there's like the spawners and stuff like that it's been changed a little bit how do I get down there can I actually go yeah all right and then it's all pitch back dark down here and we've got the different spawners that were in the mound we've seen those before there's skeletons there the zombies going there and I'd assume they just get teleported up a water stream. And then they drop to their death somewhere. Somewhere where we can find them. Like, I don't know where. Some drops in there, though. It's kind of cool. That's a good idea um, for a server kind of playthrough. Okay, let's make it time set day. Let's get it daytime. That's awesome. So, is that, was that next? Oh, I've missed Fire Medic. So, let's do, let's go check out Fire Medic. Negative uh, 651. Uh, 128, 105. Negative 105. Negative 105. Oh, this was Fire Medic's little castle thing that he had going on. Oh, man, Fire Medic. You were the one with the crazy taint issue. Oh, my goodness, man. That's insane. I love it. I love your altar setup. It looks really good. You got this going on. That uh, this uh, The Essentia Smelter with all the Alembics on it, man. That's amazing. Got some warded jars hanging around here, taking care of business. Man, this, I love it. I love it. That's, man, he's got tons of string. Good grief. Maybe he's farming like a... Had a mob farm going on or something. I bet this was a nightmare. I bet stuff was... Uh, all kinds of craziness was happening over there. Oh, I love it. Good job. I thought For some reason, I thought this was Alex, but... Uh, I guess Alex's base is over there. I feel like we didn't see... Maybe he doesn't have an altar... Oh, wait, what is this? Oh, this is Alex's altar. Or stuff, at least. Okay. So there's his workbench charger. I know we kind of skipped around a little bit. And down here's the altar. Okay. Stable. More candles. Yeah, it looks good. Oh, man, I love it. 
I love the way. That's awesome. What is that? Silverwood planks. That's a good background for those things. Kind of washes them out a little bit, but they're better. You know, you can definitely see them. He's got his arcane alembic over there. Uh, focal manipulator. Man, it's looking good. Got a couple of these V batteries laying around. Nice job. Yeah, it's, it's good. Some terracotta happening down here. Here's like his different pieces, parts. Sanity checker. What does that do? Can I steal that a second? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Sanity. Oh, I don't know what that does. Yeah, I put that back. Sorry, Alex. <laughs> There's his uh, Thaumonomicon research table happening over there. Looks good. Oh, man. Nicely done. Oh, and I guess you can get out this way. Where did you go? Where did we go in? We went down that hole right there. So between the trees is how we get in there. And it makes sense, right? Because he's got these, like, zippy paths. Okay. So let's go take... So that was Fire Medic after we looked at... We, so we went to Alex's base. We jumped over to Fire Medic's. We went and looked at the mob farm, and then we came back to Alex's base. Let's go take a look at Steven. So we're going to go to negative 556, 128, negative 80. Okay. Steven has a sheep or chicken pit, but he's raking in the feathers in there. I'm sure he is. Let's see. Yeah, this couple, but maybe he's still populating them or whatever. Oh, he's just right over the hill from that's fire medic over there. Old Steven probably wishing he was further away. Whew. That's some craziness right there, that's for sure. Steven's workshop. Very nice. He's got Cinder Pearl. He's got some of the flowers spread out around here. There's a set of armor. He's got his crucible, his research table, his arcane workbench. He's got some storage drawers happening. Looking really good for sure. It's just a random chest. I guess this is just the mine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. This looks good, Steven. He's got um, the lights all around. A uh, nighter. That's awesome. Yeah, yeah. That's good. Good, good, good. Got some nice farms out here taking care of business. Cleared out a bunch of the ground. Got a bunch of trees going. <laughs> got a crazy great wood tree right outside his house. I do have the sanity checker now. I don't really know what that what it does. I don't I don't remember. That's awesome. That's a good looking house too, Steven. Nice job. Oh, did I no I didn't. Yeah, looks good. Oh man. Okay. Alright, so we got Grateful is up next. Uh TP. Negative two seven two one twenty eight. Negative no. Positive one five nine eight. Okay, here's Grateful's place. He's got some good-looking farms going on over here. That's for sure. Oh, oh, there's his house. Look at that roof on that house, man. That looks amazing. I love the cobble with the vines. It looks great. Got a little pyramid. Kind of makes sense, right? You're got like some uh, gathering in the f the elemental forces. That's good. He's got a barrier stone, which is pretty cool. Um, here's his altar stable as well he's got all his jars around the outside of that thing here's his little workshop area with his research table and his workbench and a hungry <laughs> chest with bunches of junk in it his focal manipulator looking good so here's his uh his deal yeah and then up here is storage i guess is really like his workshop area up here and then he goes down there and does whatever now the question is is there a way down? Is there like a, a below? Yeah, there's stuff down there. Oh, here? Yeah. All right, and down here, of course, is his thaum thaumatorium and his Essentia smeltery. So he can get all the Essentias, Essentia that then goes into the warded jars. So when I built mine, right, I had built my jars and my smeltery and thaumatorium above and put the the uh, infusion altar down below. But this is an equally as, as good setup. I mean, it works the exact same way. Oh, it looks great. I love that. Oh, there's a little bit of... There's some badness up here. <laughs> oh, man. People are going crazy with Flux. I don't think the server would have handled too much more than 30 days. Oh, my goodness. That's a little out of control. Looks really good, Grateful. Nice job, man. It looks great. Great.
<laughs> See what I did there? A little bit of a cow farm over there with the, the patented piece of wool to jump over the thing without going through the gate and having all your animals escape. Oh, it looks so good. Okay, next up. Uh, we have one more, I think. So this is super fishy. Let's go to a negative 920. Uh, 128, 295. Uh, negative 295. How about that? There we go. Ah, there's a little super fishy's base. Looks like he's uh, robbed a village. So he's got a little bit of a farm going over here. Some pumpkins and stuff. What is that? I don't know. There's a sheep up there. Looking pretty good. Does he have a workshop? That's some Enderman farming areas right there no question about that's what that was oh maybe here in the house okay so there's his all his stuff he's got his focal manipulator he's got his crucible his research tables arcane workbench that's looking pretty good oh there's all his storage for his crystals and things like that i love that okay now the question is does he have an infusion altar in one of these houses or Maybe he didn't get that far. You know, some folks uh, were able to, A, either play longer or more. Um, most people that played, um, you know, they have real real jobs and things like that. So they had to maybe go off and do whatever. So I know that, for instance, Steven was on the road for a good part of June. Uh, That's awesome. Nice job with that little base there. It's super fishy. Um, I feel like I'm maybe missing an altar. Maybe you don't have one. Uh, I hopefully, hopefully I'm not missing anything. Uh, in these little tours. I probably am. So, you know, if you see your base in the tour video, uh, just holler and say, hey man, uh, I had this thing or that thing. I am providing a copy of the world download. Oh, what's over here? Copy of the world download uh, for the patrons. Maybe this is just a mine. Some caves. Looks good. By the way, if you happen to be downloading the pack later... Uh, you may notice that some of this stuff, like these uh, stone stalactites and, um, you know, some of these cool, like, underground features, mainly those, the stalactites, and there's some, like, this stuff back here that, that shows up underground, uh, that's not going to be there for you, because the, for some reason the mod developer took that mod off a of curse. So, I, we never updated the server, so we're still, we still have it. Um, and that's why you still see the terrain, the uh, generation. All right, man. Looking good, Mr. Superfishy. I think that's it. I sort of want to go back one more time. Uh, TP. And we want to go to 678. I want to go here. I love this thing. This looks so great. Community altar. Yeah, it looks awesome. I don't know who, who worked together to build this. Very stable. You get all of your stuff done, that's for sure. Man, it's looking good. Uh, I want to just give a special shout-out to not only the, the patrons that I toured their bases. Uh, these are the people that I got uh, coordinates for. We'll do this again at the end of July. Um, make sure that we get a list of everybody's coordinates. So if I missed you, certainly wasn't uh, on purpose. Uh, we were trying to collect these for the last couple days, and maybe I just missed uh, your base if I didn't talk about it. So certainly not on purpose, but oh my goodness, this was amazing. I love to see the different ways people interpret the things you have to build in the mod. Um, this part of this whole Season 4 series, at least to me, may have been the most important. Because this shows people who maybe have never played Thomcraft before. They're like, dude, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to build all these different things, and it's going to work, and I'm going to have the armor, and I'm going to have the things. And that's exactly what this series is about. We're not trying to be professionals. We're try trying to get everything right. We're trying to expose these mods to people a step at a time. So when they see them in a mod pack, like, for instance, Direwolf20 that's got all these crazy mods in, people aren't like, oh, I don't know what to do, and they just give up, right? The idea is they're like, hey, Hey, I, I, I've seen this Psalmcraft stuff before. Why don't we just get started with that? And then they're like, oh, yeah, immersive engineering. Oh, yeah, uh, industrial craft, whatever. And at least they have an exposure to it, and it's something that, that people can go through and start playing these mod packs that contain these mods. And, man, this patron server tour is definitely 
an indication that people can figure stuff out, man. I love it. So until next time, I guess a month from now, whenever we do a tour for the uh, on the July server playing Thermal Expansion, please always remember to be cool. Don't be a fool. And from my patron server, where, man, people go crazy around here, and I love it. I guess we'll see you next time. Bye, everybody.